Nick, the chic chef, also um, Miss Everything, Color Me Chic, um, Waste Not, What Not, What Don't You Do? I don't take photographs and I don't do interviews. Okay. So, this is not an interview. We are, what you see is a, like the Wizard of Oz, don't look behind the curtain. This okay. is two so lovers, two girlfriends talking and chatting. And what we really wanted to talk about is who are you? If um, no one knew you or your brand, um, what few words would you use to kind of describe who you are as a black woman in this space? I would probably say bohemian chic. And that just means I'm just an artist and I create art in several different spaces and several different places. I see something and it's beautiful and I immediately want to create it. What is the void that you're feeling? I think that a lot of times as black women we feel complacent, we don't feel beautiful, mm -hmm. we don't feel like we can achieve whatever it is that we want to achieve and I'm here to break down all those stereotypes. I want to build bonds and break down barriers within my personal community, within the women that I know, within the communities that I see that definitely need it the most. If you want to be a black woman and start your out of you start up start your own olive oil line which is delegated to certain types of people, you can do it. If you want to um, help people and if you want to start a nonprofit and, and if you want to help feed the people that are in your community, you can do it. If you see lipstick colors that necessarily may not match with your skin tone or either don't, you know, stay on, you can create it. You just have to be an innovative person and you have to want to do it. So my thing is like, I'm just going to do whatever I can, but it all has to represent what I embody, which is change. Okay. Thank you for that. What do you feel um, like your brand is bringing to Phoenix and to specifically black women in Phoenix? I think, again, it's going to build bonds and break down barriers. As black women in Phoenix, from what I see, we are a, a lot standoffish, including myself. Mm -hmm. So coming out to Black Girls Brunch and networking with, you know, women, it's just like, we're just nervous, we're just scared, you know, almost like when you first start a brand new school, you really don't want to talk to people, you really don't want to sit at the cool girls table, or you don't know what the cool girls table is, but it's all about just networking together and just being able to work together efficiently and to build the bonds that other communities may have and to create our own resource and referral services within that group. Mm. Okay, so this will be your third Black Girls Brunch. Yes. To women who have never been, who haven't been able to experience it, who haven't seen it for themselves, what would you say to them to get them to come? I would just say it is clatchet. And that term is classy ratchet. And you really can't get any better than that. I mean, we dance, we twerk. I'm not a twerk, but I'm learning. Um, the food is great. We network, we love on each other. We, I mean, it's, once a month is not enough. Seriously, like I need that girlfriend time. And that's like, like a birthday gift. I wake up extra early, I make sure that my outfit's right, I'm texting everybody, making sure that they're going to be ready on time to save seats. And it really is not a event, it's an experience. And everybody, every black woman in Phoenix needs to experience going to Black Girls Brunch. Because it's that sense of, just that sense of sisterhood that you, I haven't been able to feel. And coming to that brunch is what made me branch out more in Phoenix because I was in other states doing everything right. and that is what made me want to reach out because I'm like oh my god I love these women and they're just like me they're like little baby birds that haven't gotten their wings to fly and you gave us that push to want to do that mm -hmm. so I appreciate that and I admire that and I will never miss like, a black girl's brunch I'm gonna plan my vacations and any event around Black Girls Brunch because I have to make sure that I that I'm there to support that. Well, thank you so much. We my appreciate pleasure. you. My pleasure. My um, pleasure. We just really want to be a platform to just bring attention to the awesome Black women who are here, such as yourself. Thank so you thank so you much. for taking time and chatting with me. Anytime. And we appreciate you. So that's Black Girls Magic Phoenix with Nick the Chic Chef, and we're out.